Hey guys, so I videoed a little bit today or vlogged or whatever you want to call it. I had to go to the courthouse this morning and because I forgot that I had a court date this morning um, because I got a ticket the other week, but like the day before my surgery, I think it was, I got a ticket um, for my tags being out of date. <laughs> I blame Corona for that, okay? Um, but anyway, so basically I remembered when we got in the car, Richie and I got in the car, he's driving because I can't drive, I'm on narcotics for pain. And um, all of a sudden I remembered, oh no, court! You know, I was like, I don't know if it's today, tomorrow, yesterday, like I was flipping out, like, I don't want a warrant out for my arrest, I've never been in trouble. I don't know how it all works, you know? Um, so basically um, we got there, Richie took me to the courthouse and I went into the building, went to talk to like this lady. She's like, you're in the wrong building. So I had to walk all the way back with my walker. I have a walker. Um, I'm not sure if I told you guys, but I have a walker. And um, I walked um, to the building that it was supposed to be in. And a worker came out and she goes, hey, I, I'm gonna save you some steps. And I'm like, what? She's like, it's closed and now you have to come back on Monday at 8 a.m. And I'm like, okay. So I'm gonna have to go back to the courthouse on Monday at 8 a.m. to ask for an extension to pay my bill, to pay my ticket um, or a payment plan or some kind of thing like that. Um, I just, I've been on so much medications and had surgery and stuff. So, I mean, I just totally, it just slipped my mind, you know, and I, with this medication, it's just made me kind of dingy. It's making me overthink more. I'm, I, I'm having anxiety, worried about people, like worried about situations. I just, I, I'm not going to go into it, but I was just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like I'm freaking out, you know? It's like, I don't care about me. <laughs> I don't care what people think about me. I uh, filmed a little bit this morning, but not only did I look like an utter rotting zombie, okay? The medications caused me to break out super bad. I've got rings worse than ever around my eyes. Like I just look horrid. I would have posted it even looking horrid, but a lot of the filming was done sideways and I in my particular movie maker on my phone it does not twist it to go the right side up so I'm like well I screwed that up but I feel bad because I missed my court date this morning so I thought I would just do a little bit of vlogging right here to let you guys know what's going on as you guys know I had my surgery on the 20th of October today is the 30th so it's 10 days yeah I think it's 10 days Wow, 10 days already. Yeah. Um, and I just got done with physical therapy right now. The physical therapist therapist just left. Um, and it was it was a freaking painful workout, man. My leg is like it's throbbing, it hurts. Um, it's not just my knee that hurts, it's all the way down my calf, down to my ankle. It's just it's really painful. But um anyway, so I was at the bank and I took a little money out. I was walking out the bank doors and there was no button for like the disabled people. And I was like, usually they have a button where you can push on the wall, either with your hip or your hand or your elbow or whatever. And the door will open for you because it's painful sometimes to push the door open. And then I have a walker in front of me and I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know? Um, but they didn't have one. And there was a lady behind me and I go, man, where are the buttons for the disabled? And she goes, you're not disabled. And I turned around and showed her my knee and she goes, just temporarily. And in my mind, I'm like, seriously? But I wanna show you guys, I never showed this particular part of the vlog. I meant to put it in one of my vlogs and I never did. Um, I guess just all the medications making me all forgetful, loopy and stuff. But I thought you guys might find it interesting um, when they took off my, my bandage after surgery. So I was gonna show you that clip and here it is. So I'm gonna get this, what is this called? Drain. This drain um, removed. removed. Yeah, I have a YouTube channel, so I'm, I'm trying <laughs> to document a little bit. Slide your sock off. I hope it doesn't hurt. No, it doesn't hurt. 
Are we unwrapping it and stuff? Yep, yeah, we're gonna unwrap it. We're gonna change the whole entire dressing. Okay. I don't know why you have tape on here. I have not shaved my legs, so <laughs> I am a Sasquatch right now. Does not bother me at all. <laughs> I was gonna shave yesterday before the surgery, but my friend goes, no, you might cut yourself yeah, and you can't do that. that. So I was like, darn it, I wish they would've told me I would've shaved like, you know, a while ago. <laughs> Ooh, I get to you see what it looks like. You have a little like. tiny bit of blood on your ace bandage. That's oh, okay. just from the drain site because they don't suture it in or anything. Oh, okay. And it should it's just kind close of close on there. its own and whatnot. Okay. Yep. I'm going to put a dressing on it. So. Some awesome. people break out when they see the blood. So I always like to warn people. Yeah, no, I won't freak out. So this stuff is kind of like cotton. Fake snow that they <gasps> That's use. That's what I was thinking right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The Christmas tree snow. It is. Yeah. We're gonna just get all of that off. Ooh, there is a lot of blood, huh? It's just from the drain side. Yeah. Not... I'm not bleeding to death. No. Ooh, my leg feels like tingly. And like, you know. All the release of pressure. Yeah, or something. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. Ow. Dang. And what I put back on is a lot less than all of this. Okay. So you'll be able to move your knee a little bit better. Okay, awesome. Dang, that's a lot of work for you guys to have to <laughs> take it off. Ooh, that's nasty. Ooh, it's bruised. Dang. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> All right, unveiling. Unveiling. Let's see what the damage is. Oh, dang. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. That's going to be a good scar. So you got four sta uh, wow. sutures down here and then staples dang. up here. I'm just happy to have a normal life again, hopefully. You know? Are you taking the staples out? Oh. Forty-four. Dang, forty-four yep, staples. Staples stay in probably ten days. Okay. Oh, so for the follow-up, that's when they probably take and them out. Home health might take them out. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And they're nurses. Yeah. Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a random person. Yeah. <laughs> well. Oh my gosh! Like, are you just gonna yank it out or? Well, I'm not going to yank it. I know you're not going to yank hard, but I mean, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm scared. Take a deep breath. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, that's it. That was long and that's that it. wasn't too bad. Wow. That was not too bad. Just kind of feels different. It doesn't yeah. really hurt. Just It's like slight, mm -hmm. like barely, like slight pain, but nothing major. I'm just holding pressure for a minute. There was just a little hole in your leg. Dang. I'm holy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even Sunday. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to have some good scars. But just to be able to hike again and, mm -hmm. and walk, take walks and stuff. Oh, you have no idea. The only part that might bleed more than the other is that little hole okay. right there. Oh, there's like a bruise right there too. Yep. Oh, wow. Are you allergic to Ida? No. Okay. Ooh, look at that bruise. Dang. And you're a little puffy, but not too bad. Yeah. Dang. So happy though. <laughs> I'm hoping it, you know, heals quick mm -hmm. and. So this is just some beta dye. Okay. They shoved that up my nose. They yesterday. did. Yeah. Before the surgery. Yep. So you're an artist. <laughs> <laughs> That's where your daughter gets it. <laughs> every little, every incision is different. Every doctor does it differently. Okay. So 
Do sometimes they just like glue it together or not a knee? Oh, okay. They'll glue together a back. Oh, okay, interesting. Um, a neck. Okay. But a knee is either sutures or staples. Okay. What about a shoulder? Because eventually, I think I might need a shoulder replacement. <laughs> sutures or staples. Okay. Yep. Depending yeah. on your doctor. Okay. So I am sending you home with extra dressing supplies. Okay. Just in case you need to. Home Health will do it for you when they come. Okay. But just in case, we will send you home some supplies. Okie dokie. I'm going to open all the clean stuff now. 